All right, I first want to say thank you for all the um, support on the last video and everyone who commented. The winner of the giveaway will be right here on the screen. So congratulations to you. And as you can see, I have my golf clubs next to me. And as we head into the 2024 golf season, I want to kind of show you all what's in my golf bag and just talk about a little bit why some of these things are in my golf bag and what's unique and kind of cool or different in my bag from other players. So yeah, let's jump right into the video. All right, right first club I want to start off with in the bag is the putter. The putter cover is the Oak Hills tailor-made um, PGA Championship putter cover. It's magnetic and it has a acorn on the side with the tailor-made logo in there, obviously for Oak Hills. And then if you can see on the inside, there's some um, leaves and stuff like that to resemble Oak Hills. The putter I'm using is a part of the TP collection with TaylorMade, a Soto. I've been using it for about five or six years now, so it's pretty worn down and beat. Um, and then the grip, actually all my clubs just got regripped, but for the putter grip, shout out to the Brian Bros. I went for the Brian Bros. Um, new putter grip which is super cool so that's definitely a huge upgrade and super cool feature to my putter next i want to talk about my wedges i have a 60 callaway jaws a little bit older and then i have a 54 callaway jaws that i've been playing i've been playing this one for about two years this one for about a year maybe so um, this one's just a regular basic jaws, nothing special about it. Just as the blue on the back with the chrome 54. Um, but this one's a little bit unique and different. I don't know if you can see in there, right there, but um, the purple is my school colors. Uh, the red is my brother's favorite color. The orange is my favorite color. And the green is kind of just to resemble grass on the golf course. And then if you can see, it has my initials stamped on it, GD, all over. And then the blue jaws. So that's a pretty cool feature about that, about the 60. Um, yeah, the only kind of unique club in my um, set. But And then I'll jump right into the pitching wedge. Um, all my irons and wedges other than the ones I just showed, are Apex, Callaway Apex. Shout out to Callaway. Um, sorry if they're a little dirty. They have been used, obviously, in this last season. But I'm not going to go through every iron because I don't want to bore you all. But this is my 7 iron. Um, same thing, Callaway Apex. Shout out to Callaway. One thing I will touch on, though, is the grips. I just got um, my clubs re-gripped. So. They're obviously a Golf Pride Plus 4 Standard MCC. Um, baby blue and black and white. Um, I chose blue kind of for South Carolina, so that's what's kind of unique and cool about those. Um, yeah, now let's hop into the fairway, the three wood, and my driver. Sorry if the camera quality is not great or being filmed good. I don't. Um, have someone behind the camera today. I'm just using a tripod. So this is also a Callaway Apex um, hybrid. It has the chrome on the top. Um, same grips, obviously. This club rarely gets used, but I do kind of want to incorporate it into my game a little bit more this year. Um, just the basic Callaway Epic staff uh, cover. Next, I want to jump into my 3 wood, but before I take off the cover, I kind of want to show you all it. It's uh, a, like chrome red stitching with just like matte gray finish for the cover, and obviously the South Carolina logo on there. I just picked this up about two weeks ago, and I love it, so definitely worth the purchase. Um, this is the Callaway Epic Max 3 wood, kind of same as the hybrid. Has that carbon fiber top on it, but 
I love this club. It normally works out really well for me. So one of my favorites in the in my set. And then this next one, driver, the number one. Um, before I take off the cover, if you can see there, actually I'll take off the cover to show you all it a little bit better. But this is a Southern Cross um, head cover. This head cover actually means a lot to me because um, I got it for playing in a high school tournament, one of the biggest high school tournaments in um, South Carolina and really in the South um, East. So, yeah, this is just a really cool um, head cover to me. There's only five people really at our school that have it, which is kind of funny, kind of cool. And a lot of them have graduated, but this is something I'll hold on to for a while. I had a really good week um, there. It was at um, the Palmetto Country Club in, I think, Aiken, South Carolina. So just a super fun experience, you know. One of the biggest tournaments I've ever played in. And, you know, the first day we did, like, we walked the course as a team. And then we came in to the clubhouse. We ate a huge dinner with all the teams competing, all the guys kind of sat inside and ate together. It was like a Harry Potter kind of vibe. It was super cool, just one big long table. So the banana pudding was really good. So shout out to whoever made that. Um, but yeah, this was just a super fun and super memorable experience for me. So I love holding on to that. Um, and then for the driver, it is a Callaway Epic Max LS. I've loved this driver so much. Um, I think it's actually one of the most forgiving drivers ever, um, especially being like a junior golfer. I do make a lot of errors here and there, so it's super, super forgiving. Um, but now that we went over all the clubs, I'm going to hop into just some of the stuff in my bag. I'm going to show everything because, you know, I don't want to bore you all, but I'll just show some of the things that are interesting. And I'll hop right into this first pocket right here. Um, right here is just a bag of my ball markers that I've collected on the way, along the way. I really like these one ball marker that I just picked up. Let's see if I can get it out here. It's actually a coin, but it's from where we just went skiing, um, which is super, super cool to me. And then I just have a ton of other ones that I've collected from all the courses I've played. So I'll show that in the video. Um, but um, right here, I just have two tailor-made gloves. I normally carry two just because if it's raining or one just rips or anything like that, I just want to have a backup just in case. And then, of course, just Titleist Pro V1 golf balls. Nothing special about those, but um, back here is some tees and then a Callaway. Um, club like adjuster nothing too crazy um and then this is a yardage book just a hurricane yardage book and um in here this is kind of cringy and geek but i like quotes so i wrote it's not given it's earned um just on the golf course sometimes i like to see that and realize you know that nothing is ever given to you you always have to earn it so that's always something fun to look back on um just some foot joy weather gloves keep my hands warm and then lastly i always carry a notebook to take notes and any just like mental things on the course i need to remember or sometimes if i'm doing a practice round i'll even pull it out write down some notes just to know what i'm going into for the week but i think that's kind of it i do have um a blue tees rangefinder. So I've had that for like a couple years. It was also a gift. But um nothing too crazy. I just kind of wanted to show y'all what was in my bag. And obviously some things vary. Like when I'm going into a tournament, there'll be like other stuff sometimes. Um honestly just like some other snacks and stuff like that. But <clears throat> let me make sure I didn't forget it. 
Yeah, I didn't really forget anything. There was some sunscreen and some stuff in there, like Vaseline just for blisters and stuff like that. But um, that's kind of it for the golf bag. I'm going to zoom out the camera so I can talk to you all. But that's it for the golf bag. All right, I hope you all enjoyed this video. This is kind of just to show you all what's in my golf bag, like I said, as a junior playing golf. Um, I'm super excited for this year, super excited for the season. Already signed up for some super fun tournaments. I had a tournament over the weekend that I finished third in. So not a bad start. Wasn't the start I wanted into the year, but I think there's going to be a lot of big progression this year. So I'm super, super excited about that. And I hope you all enjoyed the video. And maybe I'll post an update if I add anything cool or anything new to my golf bag this year. But hopefully find a new head cover for this guy. But thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you all in the next one.